Buenas tardes, or maybe buenas noches. We're here in La Parguera for an evening boat tour. We're going out on a private boat to the bioluminescent bay here where we're supposed to be able to swim or snorkel or something, I don't know what. With we the organisms. Know, with the with the microorganisms. <laughs> That's Johnny's boat. He's very okay. noisy. Anyway, it's a little chilly tonight, a little breezy. I'm um, a little nervous, but it should be a really interesting experience. 79 degrees. Chilly here, chilly here in Puerto Rico. At least it's 79 cold. 79 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> But we're swimming and we're on a boat. 79 degrees swimming at night on a boat. It's moving kind of, kind of chilly. But um, we've been on a bioluminescent bay tour before in Vieques and it was outstanding. So we will see how this one is. Hasta luego. The water's beautiful. It's a reflection. Buenos dias. Last night we had the most spectacular water experience that we can remember. And even though we couldn't get any video of it because it happened at night, we wanted to share it with you. We took a powerboat tour into the bioluminescent bay in La Paguera, Puerto Rico. And uh, and it was just incredible. I mean, the boat ride, first of all, yeah. was just astounding. As we slipped through the quiet water, we passed all these lit up houses along the edge of the water that were built out over the water. Yeah. And what did he say that they were built even mm -hmm. as far back as like the 1940s? I thought he said uh, some 30s. of them were built in the 20s and 30s. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not allowed to do this anymore, but they're grandfathered in that they can remain there as long as they can keep these buildings going. <laughs> And so some of them have really turned into, I mean, they cost $500,000 is what he told us now, but they're right on the water in La Parguera. So yeah. I think he probably estimated that low, but they were just these sweet little cabins. Some of them with yachts, yeah. some of them beautifully, exactly. some of them three stories little, little, high. Little million dollar yachts. Yeah. Like and many of them, um, are used, he said now as Airbnbs, which I think I might like to go stay mm. in one. But then we made our way out to the bioluminescent bay where he had advertised that we would be able to swim in the bay. And it was sort of chilly going out there and we, neither one of us thought we'd actually want to swim in the bay once yeah. we got there. It was a little rough too. There was a lot of wind and uh, there was some good good, good wave action yeah. in parts of that on the way out. That's while we were out in the ocean. But once we got into the bay, all thank, of the, everything disappeared. Germany. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob gets seasick, but he took Dramamine. Um, it was dark there was only one other boat in this large bay and there was no longer any wind there was a half moon but there was a, a really good cloud cover um it was mostly cloudy and i reached down and touched the water and it was warm like bath water so i decided to go in i put on goggles and i went into the water and it was just amazing to be out in the middle of this black bay but then I started to swim and sparkles were going through my fingers it was incredible these sparkles were the um well what are they I can't remember what they are but these tiny little creatures yeah um, micro organisms yeah these little microorganisms that are, they sort of do the same thing as fireflies so that when the water moves around them they light up and so I was swimming through the bay and watching these go through my fingers. I got on my back in the dark bay and did backstrokes and just the moon above, it was really eerie. And of course it was so fascinating that Bob had to get in too. And he came in with his snorkel gear and so did I. And uh, the snorkeling experience yeah. was just it was, it was just an, magical. It was just incredible. And, and it was magical. You were probably in for like 30 minutes. I was in for like 20, 25 you know, before we got a little chilly. But uh, it was, uh, we were the only people on that bay for a long, long, long time. It was like being on a drug high, <laughs> you know, going like this with your fingers and all these sparkles coming out from your fingers. If you went very slow, you can almost see the individual sparkles. Yeah. You could push out and in and all these. We just were like floating around in the water or swimming in the water, making sparkles happen. And it was pretty incredible. Yep.
Yep. So, I mean, uh, we definitely highly recommend that. We were on a, a private tour and... Um, we'll you know, leave information beneath this yeah. video about the tour so you can contact him yourself. It was very reasonable, I thought. $150 for the private boat, up to six people. It was only the two of us, but if, if you were with other people, it's very reasonable per person. Yep. $150 by a captain by the name of Ismael, who also has a salt farm and uh, and is creating his own Airbnb and his salt form, farm by the water as well. He was a real interesting character, about 6'5", with this long white beard. Um, but yeah, definitely do it in La Paguera, the bioluminescent bay powerboat tour. Yeah. But the one, you know, just just a word of caution, you know, as as he says, the uh, the, the bioluminescence of the bay changes daily. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it certainly has an, the the, uh, the phase of the moon has a big impact. You know, and, and other biological or not uh, environmental factors have an impact. You know, such as the, the wind, direction of the wind, and yeah. uh, you know how how, how high Rain. the waves are, and, and how uh, much it's rained recently. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. you know, your experience may vary, but uh, we we were there, and he said it was a like a five out of ten. But we thought it was we thought it was great, and we actually thought it was was better than uh, when we did it in Viaquez. I mean, there's just yeah. well, I thought I loved it in Viaquez too, but there's nothing like having being in the water and surrounded by the light like yeah. that. Yeah. And it wasn't cold going back because the wind was at our back, so it was it was warm and toasty on our way back. Here in February. So. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for joining us for our little description of our wonderful bioluminescent bay power boat, boat tour. Until the next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our next videos. And until then, hasta luego.